Welcome back, everybody. Your host, AMF1534, here. Let's play some more Condemned Bloodshot. We have now made it to the Magic Theater, and we just got done fighting the alcoholic demon inside of ourselves, which, does that mean that he's sober? I highly doubt it. But we'll see what happens. So, time to go searching in probably the most luxurious place that we've been into so far. A stanchion? Dude, give me the stanchion. That's tight. Give me my flashlight. My my light bulb gun of truth. That's the magic man. That's the guy that we're here to see. Probably not to do his... Whoa, hello. <laughs> that was creepy. I did not like that. What the hell's up with this? Why is there a guy down there? Whoa! The house of illusion. The sleight of hand. The bizarre and unexplainable. Welcomes you. The magic man welcomes you. I don't like this. Please what the fuck? There's people on the- Oh boy, that's weird. Why are there weird women people on these things? I don't like that at all. That's so weird. This game is getting out of control. Dude, I so don't like this at all. I'm like developing a phobia about this at the very at this very moment in time. That's so creepy. And she has a hole in her boob. So what the hell do we do? That's a secret room. Time to pull the lever. What the fuck? I've updated your field kit with some interesting information regarding the Oro. Oh really? What do we I got? Searched for information regarding the Oro and came up with very little. What's odd is that there's no mention of the organization in any government database. However, I managed to locate a few fan sites on the internet. From what I can gather, the name Oro is short for Oro Invictus, which means invincible voice. It appears they've been around for more than 3,000 years. Pretty remarkable, if true. But we must consider the source. You see anything about the Oro's purpose? Their objective? No specifics. But I get the impression that the Oro's primary goal is to manipulate, possibly to change the natural course of human evolution. However, the information is too sketchy to establish anything concrete. Excellent. So, I wonder if those websites were real. I highly doubt it. I mean, that wouldn't make much sense if it... Well, I mean, I guess you can't really debunk anything anymore. That thing's really far away, so we'll have to deal with it later. Hello. Radio time. Alright, Tony Rhodes, I don't like you anymore, you piece of shit. Now you're telling people that I'm the one that everybody's looking for? Whoa! God, that was weird. Okay, so... I pull that, and what happens? What was the reasoning for doing that? Is there anywhere else for me to go down here before I... Try to find somewhere else to go. It doesn't look like it. Uh, maybe if I go back in that weird, like, closet elevator thing, maybe that'll help. Or maybe not. Ooh. I don't really know what I'm supposed to do right now. Should I pull it again? Or what? Like, how do I get... Upstairs. I feel like I there's got to be something more for me to do than being down here. I don't know. I don't know where to go. Oh. That's a fire axe. That'll probably help. At the very least. But where do I use it? That's the question. Because I don't see any doors with the indicative marks that I would normally would. 
because that was typically how these worked. They're like, oh, fire axe? Well, oh, this is where you use it. That's not really the case right now, though. I would love to have the proper place to use this. But I don't really seem to know where that is. Maybe if I shove it in this thing. Or if I just do that. <laughs> that will probably solve something. Far none. Dude, this... That had to take a lot of effort to put that together. Still really don't like that. At all. I really don't. It's genuinely freaking me out. Oh! She's alive! Oh shit! She won't be alive for long. Oh! They're both alive! God! Yeah! Gotcha! Oh, got you too! Well, let's be honest, I think one hit of that would have pretty much cut you in half almost. Which means that you're probably gonna come up next, aren't you? You crazy slut. No? So then I gotta go to you first then? Oh ho ho. Yeah! 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 God, get out of here! Ah! Man, she must have been made of pure steel, because I hit her and she and that fire axe exploded. But we have a plank. It's a big piece of wood. Maybe that'll help for now. Going down the elevator. And out we go again. There better be something good in here. Hey, there's that. That'll count as something good for now. And there's another plank. Not a plank, another another leva. Stop! You'll crush the diva! Oh, yes. Now, all I gotta do is go back to the beginning, where all the fun began. This place is weird. I don't like this place. I don't have a problem with theaters, but I got a problem with theaters in which there's dudes in the middle of it that are inside of a ring of fire by Johnny Cash. And it's just, and like weird pinup girls that are just like totally tripped out. What in the hell? Push in the sword? Why? Oh! That's gross. Whoa! No, no, I don't want it to start up again. Shit. Fuck. Shit, fuck. That is a bad, bad place to have one bar of health. Whoa, that was weird. That is so bad. I don't want that to... Maybe I'll have more health when I do this next time. Who knows? I'm really, really happy that we have an extra bar of health, though. Yes! Pay the Ticketmaster with swords. That's way too slow of a weapon. I'd rather use my own fists for this. And let the fun begin! Okay. You're gone. You're gone. You're gone. No. You're gone. You're gone. And so are you. God, this is so not cool. I hate these weird little oil people. They're so fucking weird. Okay. Enter the main theater and search for the magic man. Hey, I've updated your kit with more info. Check it out. Okay. Before leaving the SCU, I managed to grab the disc Dorland's agents found on SKX. It's some sort of journal he was keeping. Most of it's meaningless babble, but listen to this. The root of the Oro's plan revolves around a tradition called Sonic Generation. It's the ability to produce complex sounds that project out from not just the mouth, but the entire body. People subjected to these sound waves experience acute bouts of paranoia. This is followed by hallucinatory episodes that slip quickly into psychosis and other forms of uncontrolled violent behavior. It goes on to say, people with natural tendencies to be violent become even more so when exposed to these sonic emissions. Ethan, the implications of this are huge.
Are you suggesting this organization is responsible for all that's wrong in the city? Maybe not all. It's probably just the rambles of a man who's psychotic himself. But something about it rings true, though. Imagine if all of man's atrocities, war, murder, acts of cruelty, the very origins of crime itself can be explained and linked to this group. I'll admit it's pretty far-fetched, but a tantalizing theory nonetheless. Does Dorlan know you have this disc? Absolutely not. I don't trust the man. I saw this disc as a great opportunity to learn more about what's going on. Our next performance is a real crowd pleaser. Death comes by some means. Oh, great. Oh, good. Yes, this this is exactly what I want, and there's no seats in here. There are no seats in here at all. That's really kind of strange. Like a bird, you are drawn to me, and like a bird, you find retreat impossible. I'm not here to play your fucked up games, Magic Man. No. No, not like a bird. Not like those other helpless people lining the bowels of the city. Enough babbling. Come out so I can see you. You're not so easily influenced. That much is obvious. That, that would be so ordinary. Yes. You're much more, aren't you? Yes, Magic Man. I am. Oh, what have you got for me today, huh? This doesn't look good. I don't like the way this looks at all, to be honest. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. More of this crap? Come on. Okay. You wanted me to come on. I have to defeat the magic man, huh? Exactly how do you propose I do that? Well, that didn't... Oh! What the freaking hell? This guy obviously knows what he's doing. I don't really know how I'm supposed to do this, though. What am I supposed to do? Oh my god, this is not good. I don't know what to do. Like, what, what am I supposed to do? God! What am I supposed to do about that noise? I don't get it. I don't know what to do, god damn it. This doesn't make any sense. Dude, what does this do? I don't I don't understand. Ooh, health kit. That's nice. God, shit. Dude, this is gonna be so bad. Oh. Okay, I guess that kinda has something to do with it. <laughs> if I literally have to do this by throwing liquor bottles at him the whole time, that's gonna be ridiculous. But I feel like that, unfortunately, is going to be how we're going to attack this. Because that's the only way to stop the noises from happening. Shit. Oh, can we pull the lever? Hey, he's dead! I win! I win! The game's over! <laughs> the underground is a buzz, Mr. Thomas. How do you know who I am? Fear travels fast. Start making some sense. Remendium, the remedy, was supposed to be a myth, a bedtime story. But now, uh, you've made them think otherwise. You can all go to hell. Oh, ho, ho. Please. 
It's a gift. The ideal body. Perfectly tuned from birth. Capable of resonating a sound so powerful it can destroy flesh and bone. It's what they fear most. A power greater than theirs. This is bullshit. Are you a member of the Aura? A sick, incestuous organization? No, no, not anymore. But I can tell you, they are on the verge of suffocating this city. What? Let's just say, Big Brother is all grown up and hungry for power. Where can I find them? Oh, you, you don't know what you're asking. I can't... All right! Ah, the peninsula. The answers you want are there. A warning to the old, the young, and the weak at heart. It only gets more fantastical. More, dare I say, fucked up from here. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it probably does get more fucked up from here. Mr. Thomas. He really is the magic man. Oh boy. Gives you increased firearm accuracy as well as ammo check speed. Great! Alright everybody, well we have run out of time for this episode. So when we come back on the next installment of Let's Play Condemned Bloodshot, we're going to dive into the next mission, which I'm guessing has something to do with going to, quote, the peninsula, unquote, as he says. So, this has been your host, AMF1534 here, and um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.